and watch. Masaya away. I think this is uh, my first assist for FC Basel. I think also a little bit of a changing moment uh, in the season for me personally. I think from this moment I played almost every, I think I started every game. And I think this is something I have to do this season more often. And yeah, here, this is one of my qualities I can, can bring for the team. And I think this was a really good moment for me. Did you get any reactions after the game? Uh, yes, a little bit, but I think this is the yeah this is the life we live in with social media. When you do something good, it's always positive, and of course, when you have a moment like this, then yeah, they praise you a little bit. And I think this was indeed a beautiful assist, and I can be happy with this one. I think when we were two zero down, and when you want something, the next game, yeah, we needed at least one goal, and this was for me. I was not so long in the pitch, and it was my first big moment as well for for me in Basel. So. These things coming together made it a really important assist for the club and for me personally. Great. You say when I can press it, huh? Yeah. First game for me, I think. Lugano. Lugano away. I look still a little bit brown from the holiday, so... The transfer uh, to Basel was a little bit uh, last moment, also for me. So everything uh, went really fast and... Yeah, before I knew I was in the bus to Lugano to play my first game and I think uh, I came in as a central defender and yeah, I was really confident uh, and looking forward, of course, uh, for this first game. But we didn't uh, take a good result, so let's go to the next one. <laughs> but it was uh, not your first position like central defender. How, how difficult is it to change positions? I think for me, I play, can play as a central defender when the team needs me, but my qualities are 100% in the midfield and I prefer to play there. So it's sometimes difficult because I never played there in the academy, so everything was really new for me on that position, but I tried my best uh, for the team to, yeah, to play as good as possible. And I think with the ball, it's not, not the most difficult thing because you have the complete pitch in front of you and you can see everything really good. But defensively, I had more problems to adapt to this position. But for the, the, the transfer to FC Basel, I really was looking for the chance on the midfield. And I got this, this chance last season and I think I really took it. I could show what I, what I can do. I can play on six, I can play on the eight. I think I was really box to box and I had, I had the chance to improve my game and to improve for myself but also for the team. And I think this gives me a, a lot of confidence for this season to improve even more and to be even more important for the team. Yes? Yes. Yes, and this was not my uh, happiest moment of the season, I think. I think the first yellow card was unnecessary. Um, I want to make my mistake good from the, from the wrong, wrong pass. And then the second one is, in my opinion, still really unlucky. I think the, the guy from eBay did, did a good job to, to take me and to go to the ground. I discussed this one also a lot of times with the referee, off, not a lot of times, but a few times with the referee, if he really thinks that it was a second yellow and he's still agreeing and I'm not, so yeah, it's in the middle. I felt really sorry for the team because I, I think we played a good game so far. Uh, I think we, we didn't create that much, but we were comfortable with the ball. We pretty dominated the second half, the start of the second half. I also had the feeling that I played a good game until this first yellow card and then the second one came really, really fast and then you're of course unhappy, you go inside, you are angry and then yeah, you heard the sound of the goals of eBay and then yeah, you can, uh, you prefer to go somewhere else and go home and this is also football and you have to handle the situation and after the game I, I said sorry because I think yeah, because of this red card we lose the game and yeah, after all, this is a moment I, I, I could learn from and I think it will never happen again because I, I went too aggressive in this first duel where I took my first yellow card and yeah, what I say about the second one is still a little bit unlucky, but yeah, it is how it is. It's also football. I just felt sorry for the team and I know the situation with eBay and uh, we didn't w win for a long time and I think we, we had a good chance this game to, to, uh, to, to win the game and also for the team, not only for the fans, but yeah, I apologize on social media to the fans and in dressing room to the players, so yeah, that's how I am. Yeah. <laughs> Zurich game. Yeah, I think this is uh, a game 
was really important for the supporters and I realized that and yeah, I just, we discussed with the, with the team that we wanted to put a lot of aggressivity in the pitch and on the, on the field. I think this one is like, it's maybe a little bit too much. I'm, I think the first one I'm good that I, that I hit the ball, otherwise it can be worse. But the second one is, I think, a thing we have to show this season as well. Of course, we have to hit the ball, we have to play the duels right. You can play a duel hard and, and win the ball like this, the second one, and after with Saka, exactly the same. And I think you have to understand some games are more important. Of course, every game is really important, but some games mean more to the, to the fans and for the club than others. And this was a game, uh, we start really good, first half. Unlucky we, we didn't create anything and then this 1-0 on the wrong moment did us last the game, I think. What was really, yeah, we were of course really unhappy about that. But I think the way we started this game is something we have to, we have to do this season again with this aggressive team, but also the way how we pressed, how we played out of the press of the opponent. And I think we can be, we have to, to look forward to this season to do this again. Can you remember what was your mindset before the game? Yeah, yeah, I can remember, yes. I don't know if it's good to say it on camera. But Let's try. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was just, I, I knew how important it was for the supporters. I always say when I played in Feyenoord, I was really a big Feyenoord fan, so I know what it means for supporters to, to support their club. And I see this also in the eyes of the supporters. We had the day before also a, a video from the Mutterskurve to motivate us. And then you get this feeling, okay, this will be a really important game for the fans. And what I, yeah, what I said before, like, we knew we had to do a, uh, a really good job and we had to try to, to win and unlucky it didn't happen. But I think we can be satisfied with the start of the game. The way we, we wanted to play was aggressive, uh, show the supporters that we want to win the game. So I think uh, the, the, the one reason we went into the game was to let them become no champion in our house. And then after all they win and it was a little bit the, the whole sto story of the season that yeah, they especially win in our stadium and it was hard. It was not nice, but yeah, you have to accept it and to learn from it. And now we have a new season coming. So let's see.